Today I'm going to talk about bloating and the simple steps that you can take if this is something that's affecting you. For some reason I see this far more commonly here in Dubai than I ever did in my practice in London. And just to be clear, doctors aren't immune to this either. Uh, I've had bloating myself quite significantly and in my case it turned out to be a specific component of a salad that I was enjoying. And once I slowed down and uh, analyzed what I was eating, the culprit became uh, pretty obvious. Now, bloating happens when gas builds up faster than your gut can move it along. And that gas often comes from food components that aren't fully absorbed and that get fermented by the gut bacteria. And in some people, the gut is much more sensitive and moves things much more slowly. So even normal amounts of gas can feel really excessive and uncomfortable. Now, for many people, bloating improves with just a few simple steps, like slowing down eating, avoiding fizzy drinks, being careful with your sweeteners, keep meals simple, consistent, and use a basic food symptom diary to try and pick out that culprit that might be causing you the bloating. If bloating doesn't improve with those steps, then treatment needs to be targeted. In my practice, we then take a little structured approach, uh, targeted breath tests, blood tests, or stool tests, really identifying what might be the underlying cause. And just to be clear, if bloating comes with weight loss or persistent pain, blood in the stools, or wakes you up at night, now that needs proper medical review.